Hey guys, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram for extra content you won't see here. Click the links in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? Eager Ryan for being another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Avengers Infinity War. This is Iron Spider from the Thanos Build-A-Figure Wave by Hasbro. Here we have Iron Spider first appearance in the MCU. So we all kind of had an idea that this was coming seeing that Tony Stark and Peter Parker and the MCU are really close. If you guys want to know where you guys can pick up your Marvel Legends, you can take a look at BigBadToyStore.com. I provided some links in the description below where you guys can check it out there. Moving on, here is the figure. Only comes with the leg of Thanos. This is the left leg of Thanos from the movie. On the side, we do have Spider-Man there, and then we have him on the back as well. We have a read-up that reads, Advanced Technology and High-Tech Gear are Signature Marks of the web slinging Hero Iron Spider. This has me really excited to check him out in this suit in the movie. I wonder what uh, things that Tony put into his suit this time around. We all know how he hooked them up in the suit from Homecoming. Imagine this one right here. Let's go ahead and take him out of the package and see what we got here. Iron Spider from the MCU and I'm really really liking this look to his suit it looks very cool I love the big spider on the torso with the goldish color almost like the Iron Man colors red and gold here um, on you know outlining the spider legs and the blue in the middle and everything looks nice I really really like this suit almost like this suit better than the original one that came in of a war which was this one right here so we can kind of see the difference here so the spider obviously has gotten increased in size and huge major difference in pretty much the look of it now here is the homecoming suit which was slightly different but not really different here uh, we all got we all got the same height as well so that's pretty good um, but there is the homecoming with the little small spider as well as stated before no accessories with him not even any other extra hands he only comes with the web slinging posing hands right there and we do have the left leg of Thanos here. Uh, seems to be a little on the short side. I don't know. I feel like he should be taller. But who knows. We haven't even seen the movie yet. Do want to take a closer look at Iron Spider's suit. And the figure itself here. I like the blue. It's more of a metallic looking blue. Not sure if it's just the figure. If that's actually how he is in the movie. But they put a metallic uh, blue for the, for the paint here. So that looks good. The red, on the other hand, is just plastic. It's not painted. There is the back. Overall clean. I love the clean. I mean, that is a very thin line for the spider on the gold there. And they did a good job with that. Anyways, the head on this figure does move left and right. It goes up and down on a bar the hinge. Head's a little loose, but not too loose. I don't know what it is with these new figures. A lot of them have loose heads like this. Just don't get it. Arms go forward and back. It goes in and out right here. I do have the butterfly joints, but it's, they seem to not really function well. I mean, they're supposed to go in and out. See, there you go. That one went forward and back. So now it's going. It's kind of, it kind of got stuck, it, or it kind of gets stuck every once in a while. So there you go. There's that one. That's weird. Anyways, there's the butterfly joints. There's bicep swivel, double jointed elbows right here as well. Uh, wrist swivel on a hinge. There's an ab crunch that moves pretty nicely. Swivel at the waist, T-jointed legs go forward and back, they go in and out. Thigh swivels, double jointed knees, there's an ankle that hinges forward and back, and there is a pivot. I did already show him alongside the other movie figures, but here he is next to some of the comic figures. We have the Space Venom Spider-Man on the left side, and then we have the Pizza Spider-Man on the right here, being the tallest Spider-Man figure. And here's a shot with him next to his mentor, Tony Stark, uh, from the Infinity War uh, wave same wave here that pretty much does it for this review not much else to say wish he did come with some wet accessories or other hands or maybe a tom holland head uh but for 20 dollars, this is what we get we get the figure and we get the build a figure piece still nonetheless it is a very cool looking iron spider uh spider-man figure here and just you know it is what it is hopefully once we see the movie we'll enjoy the figure more since we have not seen the movie uh, but it's still an enjoyable looking figure here and they did a good job with it. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Leave a like if you did, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, have a great day. Bye.